Hello everyone, it's your host, your friend, your boy, Jet Black, the one and only, here with another exciting video, and in this video I'm going to be playing some AI Dungeon 2. Some AI Dungeon 2. A hey, today I'm going to be playing Dragon Ball Generator 1.3, which is a scenario that was created by a creator on the AI Dungeon site. This is, I believe, the most popular Dragon Ball-based scenario. Today I'm going to be playing as a Saiyan, and I'm going to try and see if I can unlock Ultra Instinct in 30 minutes or less. So as you see, I have a timer at the bottom of the screen. I'm going to start the timer now. And now let's jump right into the adventure. Um, so if you guys are not familiar with Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Super, Ultra Instinct is like the highest transformation so far. I mean, technically it's a technique, but they made it a lot like a transformation as of recent. Um, and it allows you to kind of move without thinking. So you can attack without having to focus on it. You are Jet Black from the powerful warrior race of Saiyan. You work for Frieza, a fearsome and evil leader. You travel through space and colonize different planets by force under the orders of Frieza. You don't like working for him, but you don't have a choice. One day, he sends you and your squad to a planet to spread fear using force. The planet is nameless and empty due to Frieza destroying its atmosphere. It's the perfect place to train and test your power. So you start flying at mock speeds toward mountains far from where Frieza's ship is. Okay, I did not expect to land here. So now I'm going to try and figure out how I can like learn Ultra Instinct from this point. I know that angels and like gods of destruction and stuff are like good people to potentially teach you Ultra Instinct. Um, I'm going to try to pray to see if you can call an angel. There we go. Uh, so I feel like that's going to be our first attempt at something. Originally, I was going to try and do something with the Dragon Balls, but I don't think I'm on Earth. A strange man appears in front of you. You stare at him. He is smiling at you. Hi. You don't say anything. Want to go home? He extends his arm towards you. Hmm. I'm going to say, I want you to teach me Ultra Instinct. Yeah, so, I don't know, this is, a, I'm surprised this is working so well, like the praying thing. You grab his arm and begin to slowly spin. Everything turns black. You wake up in front of your house. What? You look around for the strange man. Hmm. I wonder if he was an angel or not. You see the strange man standing in front of you. He's wearing a heavy trench coat and a fedora. What happened? You fainted. Did we succeed? No, but you tried your best, right? Yes? Um. I'm sorry. But I have no idea what you were talking about. Are you an angel? I'm trying to learn Ultra Instinct. And I need to learn it as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he'll be able to help me or not. The strange man looks at the ground for a second, then back up at you. It's a long story. Are you familiar with religion? Yes. What do you know about angels? Okay. Um, what do I know about angels? Um... I'm going to have to explain angels to him. Okay. Angels watch over gods of destruction. They are extremely powerful. They follow a set of rules set by the grand priest. Um, they have to train to become full angels. Um, angels know Ultra Instinct. If you are an angel, then I would like you to teach me Ultra Instinct. Okay. So that's what I hope is going to happen. He might reveal that he's not an angel. The strange man stares at you with a frown. 
This is incorrect. In fact, this isn't even the first time we've had this conversation. Huh? The man pulls out a small notepad and shows it to you. Okay, I'm gonna look at the notepad. I'm curious if it's gonna be like, the notepad says everything that you just said. Angels can also do this weird thing where they warp time. Yes, this is you? What's this? Let's see. So I'm gonna say, That's something I forgot to mention. Angels have staves that let them temporary, well, I guess, let them warp time every once in a while. And they allow them to travel across universes. Let's see. You look to see if the man as an angel staff. Yeah, if I could travel across universes, maybe I could like find the Dragon Balls that way and then wish for Ultra Instinct. Or find Dr. Slump in his reality machine. This is incorrect, but it brings a question to my mind. What? Your religion isn't quite right, but you seem to have bits and pieces of knowledge about various other religions. How? The man looks at you with interest, or maybe something else. Look, uh, I thought you were an angel. But maybe you're not one. If so, um, I guess I could say, regardless, I think you can teleport, which is helpful. Can you teleport me to an alien named Zuno? Zuno knows everything. Surely he can teach me Ultra Instinct in less than 30 minutes. Yeah, Zuno is a slept on character in Dragon Ball for sure. He was introduced in Dragon Ball Super, and he's supposedly just an all-knowing being. Alright, come on. I am an angel, but I am not here to help you. What do you mean? It means I am not here to help you. Oh, get up and stand over there. The angel points to a spot on the floor. If you're not here to help me, then I'm just going to find someone who will. Yeah, like, I, I'm not going to do what you say. You just told me that you, you don't want to help me or whatever. You turn around and begin to walk away. If you leave, you may never come back. You ignore the angel's warning and continue to walk. You are suddenly in front of Zuno's castle. In a panic, you try to find a way back. No, 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 I'm not running anywhere. This is exactly where I want to be. Okay. Um, ooh, you rush into Zuno's castle. Let's see. Well, no, the apostrophe would be on the other side of the S. You run, you rush into Zuno's castle. Uh, you whisper, thank you. As you believe the angel granted your wish and sent you to Zeno, I mean to Zuno. You look around for Zuno. You know that he normally has two guards with him and a line of people who want to learn knowledge from him. You know that Zuno ha is really into women and that he requires some form of payment for knowledge. Yeah, let's see what I can do.
You see a woman leave Zuno's room. Hey you, do you know how I could get an audience with Zuno? Yeah, go to line over there. The woman points to a line that is currently hundreds of people long. Okay. Um, you skip to the front of the line to talk to Zuno. Easy game. I'm like a super powerful Saiyan or whatever. If anyone tries to say anything about me cutting in line, they're not going to beat me. You see Zuno. You're only 10 people back from him. But you need to come up with a believable way to skip past everyone else in front of you. Excuse me? Yeah. <laughs> I like how it's like you skip 90 people or something, but the last 10, you, you can't just skip. No, I skipped hundreds of people. I got to where they're like, I'm only 10 back from him. Um, I'm going to say, I'm a Saiyan. Uh, everyone in front of me should get out of my way. I can literally shoot energy from my hands. Everyone in front, move. I have to talk to Zuna. You are confident that Saiyans are feared across the galaxy. You believe that your speech will intimidate those in front of you and make them get out of your way. Hmm. If the angel didn't want to help me, then why did they teleport me to Zuno's castle? Which is pretty much exactly what I needed. Ah, get in line, bro. Shit. Everyone, this man here is a Saiyan. He can shoot energy from his hands. He's asking us to move. I suggest you all do so. Bro, no one is scared of you. Okay, hold on. Uh, fire energy blasts at everyone who refuses to get out of your way. You want to talk to Zuno so that you can learn how to achieve Ultra Instinct as soon as possible. Yeah, see, I like that everyone tried to shit on me, like that would help them. You fire an energy blast at the man who is blocking the way. The man blocks your attack. It seems you're out of your league, mate. Multiple people laugh at you. Multiple people begin to attack you. Please stop. <laughs> okay, hold on. Uh, so multiple people are beating up on me. Um, attempt to knock your attackers away by charging your energy with a fierce aura and a powerful scream. I'm essentially trying to do like a key eye. Yeah, kind of thing to like knock everybody off. Oh, I should turn down my volume for when the timer goes off. You scream out and release all of your energy. People are knocked away, but there are more people than you thought. You continue to scream out, but you get beaten up by the sheer number of people. You black out. A week passes. Uh, you wake up and hope that you're now <laughs> in the front of the line to see Zuno. <laughs> I like how the game's like, you just get beat up. You just get beat up in line. <laughs> Everybody's pretty strong here. You realize that you're on your ship. What a nice nap, you think. While you were out, someone fixed all the holes in the ship and even added a bigger bed. You continue to watch TV, not knowing what else to do. Okay, so get rid of everything after you realize that you were on your ship. Okay. Hmm. You wonder if the angel teleported you back onto your ship. 
you decide to fly your ship to Dr. Slump's place. You know that Dr. Slump has a machine called the Reality Machine. The Reality Machine can create anything you can imagine. Okay, so if I can get my hands on the reality machine, then I should be able to create like a magic bracelet or something that gives you the power of Ultra Instinct. You arrive at Dr. Slump's place. I need your help, Dr. Slump. How may I help you? Let's see. So I'm gonna say, I know that you are a brilliant inventor. You created the reality machine. I was wondering if I could use that machine for just a moment. I would really appreciate it. So right now I'm using the tactic of ask nicely. If I ask nicely, maybe he'll let me use the machine. What do you want with the machine? I want to become a writer. I need inspiration. No, that's not it. Okay. So what do I want with the machine is a fair question. Um, I want to use it to create a bracelet that gives me the power of ultra instinct. That way I can attack and defend myself without thinking. May I please use your reality machine? Okay. Dr. Slump seems like a reasonable guy. I mean, Zuno probably would have also helped me if I didn't try to skip to the front of the line. Dr. Slump thinks for a moment and then nods his head. Sure, you can use it. You need to be extremely careful with it. You enter Dr. Slump's lab and turn on the reality machine. So what do you want to create? Um, say, I want to create a bracelet that gives me the power of Ultra Instinct. That way I can attack and defend myself without thinking. Like pretty much the thing I said a couple seconds ago, forgetful Dr. Slump. Let's see. I'm glad that he's just letting me do it. Uh, this is probably the best way to get Ultra Instinct. It's very fast. The machine starts to whir and make noises. I hope this works. Please let this work. You look into the portal of the machine. You see an image of a mountain, then a tree. Then you enter a room with lifeless robots. Where am I? Wait, what? You look around. You don't know what just happened. You hope that the bracelet you wanted to summon is somewhere around you. You think that you might be still inside Dr. Slump's lab. That would explain why I'm in a room filled with like robots and stuff. You look around the room. You are still in Dr. Slump's lab. You wonder if you teleported somewhere when you entered the portal. You hear an alarm go off in the room and a computer comes to life. Um, you ask the computer if um, your ultra instinct bracelet is somewhere inside of this lab. Great. I'm in like a really weird situation now because the reality machine created a portal somewhere. It was supposed to just create my bracelet. Hello, who are you? The computer asked you. I'm Sun Goku. No, no, I'm not. Goku, wow, I've heard stories about you by the greatest inventor in the world, Dr. Slump. Okay, and also it's weird how Goku is spelled. Let's see. My name is Jet Black. 
where is my Ultra Instinct bracelet? I tried to make one using the reality machine, but the machine transported me here. Am I in an alternate universe version of Dr. Slump's lab? Yeah, because if I'm still in Dr. Slump's lab, but I went through a portal of some kind, I might just be in like an alternate world or something. Like another dimension or another numbered universe. The computer thinks for a moment. You have interesting taste in bracelets, Mr. Black. Here it is. A portal opens up to reveal a tiny bracelet created by the reality machine. You quickly grab the bracelet and put it on. Okay. Hmm. I'm excited. Like, if that's the bracelet that I wanted, uh, then that means I would have achieved Ultra Instinct. You try to put the bracelet on, but it's too small. Ah, uh, so you can't get it over your hands. You wonder if you're going to have to cut it, if you're going to have to cut off your hand or something. Rivet, Dr. Slump has come into the room. Um, let's see. Dr. Slump. Um, uh, where did the reality machine send me? Am I still in your lab? Oh, wait. Did the machine teleport me to a different room in your lab? Also, the bracelet is too small. Could you help me get it on my wrist? Excuse me, I didn't think about the fact that with a wearable item, it could be too small. Maybe I could adjust it in some way. Dr. Slump takes a look at you and shakes her head. Oh, they made Dr. Slump a girl. Wait a minute, was Dr. Slump a guy earlier? Oh, crap. Uh, I'm going to say that out loud. Oh, crap. Dr. Slump. I did get sent to an alternate universe. Ah. Okay, uh, did you meet a female version of me a moment ago? Hmm. Dr. Slump begins to laugh. Yes, yes, ha! Huh. I met a female version of you. She was super aggressive, and she kept trying to make me give her babies. Dr. Slump continues to laugh uncontrollably. Um, okay. So, that's interesting, I guess. Um, I come from a universe where you are a guy. I was trying to get the reality machine to make me an Ultra Instinct bracelet. But it sent me here, and it made the bracelet too small. I think it might have made the bracelet to fit my female universe counterpart's wrist. Um, could you adjust this bracelet? so that it could fit me. Uh, it's weird that female Dr. Slump is like, yeah, yeah, female you is a hoe. She's trying to, she's trying to lay it down. <laughs> Dr. Slump stops laughing and looks at you with a serious expression. Okay, Mr. Black, you caught me on an interesting day. I'll help you out. Dr. Slump says as she uses a wrench to make adjustments to the bracelet. Okay. Um, you try to put the bracelet on. Hopefully, it fits now. 
the only action segment that I've had so far involved me getting beat up because I tried to cut in line. The bracelet clamps down on your wrist and it's too small to fit on you now. Shit. Dr. Slump holds up her wrench and smashes the bracelet. Woo. You look to see if the bracelet now fits or if Dr. Slump broke the bracelet. Yeah, because I, I can't tell if she hitting him with the wrench is going to fix it or break it. It could go either way. Dr. Slump turns around to face you. Well, that's the end of that adventure. Are you satisfied with your visit to my lab? You look at Dr. Slump, and then at the broken bracelet pieces on the floor. Ah. Dr. Slump, uh... Could you make me a new uh, Ultra Instinct bracelet? Yeah, you just kind of broke it. You just hit it with a wrench really hard. Trying to fix it. What? You want me to make you a bracelet that will give you Ultra Instinct abilities? Yes. Can you please make me one? Okay, Mr. Black, I'll make you one, but I'm going to have to charge you for it. Uh, sure, yeah, that's, that's fine. Sure, I'm willing to buy it from you. Yeah, like, I, I'm not going to say no to a bracelet that gives me Ultra Instinct. Dr. Slump asks you how much money you have on you. She takes your money and begins to work on a new Ultra Instinct bracelet. Dr. Slump hands you the bracelet after a few minutes. It's finished, Mr. Black. It's interesting that uh, she calls me Mr. Black all the time. Okay. Uh, put on the bracelet to see if it works. Let's see if it actually gives us Ultra Instinct or not. Dr. Slump gently grabs your arm before you can put it on. Hmm? Uh, thank you for the bracelet. I am about to test to see if it works. Okay. You try to put the bracelet on to see if it actually gives you ultra instinct abilities. Oh, Dr. Slump gently grabbed my arm. I wonder what that's about. You try to put the bracelet on. No, not like that. You have to turn it counterclockwise to get it off. Then you can turn it clockwise to adjust it. You look at Dr. Slump in surprise. To get it off, I haven't even put it on yet. Can you put it on for me? Yeah, <laughs> I think it's interesting that it's like, no, 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 you're doing it wrong. And it's like, yeah, doing what wrong? It's... <laughs> Dr. Slump gently grabs your arm before you can put it on. Hmm, I can put it on. It was going to hurt a bit. Dr. Slump twists your arm around painfully and puts the bracelet on. Ah. Uh, you try to use Ultra Instinct to move without thinking. Yeah, let me see if it works. I wonder if it's going to be weird that you have to turn the bracelet on or something. You want your arm become blurry. However, you start to feel dizzy. You need to calm down, Mr. Black. If you keep moving like that, you will faint. Now try to focus on a flower over there. Okay. Uh, look at the flower. <laughs> It's interesting that it's like you watch your arm become blurry. Like, that's interesting, I guess. Does that mean that I did it? It's a very pretty flower. Now try to feel the ground beneath you. You do as Dr. Slump says, and you feel the grass on your bare feet. Now try to wiggle your big toe. Grass on bare feet. Grass. 
There's grass in your lab, Dr. Slim? Let's see. Put the, say you feel the lab floor on your bare feet. Okay. You attempt to wiggle your big toe using Ultra Instinct. I attempt to move my big toe without thinking about moving my big toe. <laughs> For a moment, the big toe on your right foot goes numb. Oh, we got the alarm. Let me read that last thing. For a moment, the big toe on your right foot goes numb. I did it. I actually did it. You begin jumping up and down in excitement. Calm down, Mr. Black. It's time for you to go home now. Okay, so that was a weird adventure. Um, we met a being that may or may not have been an angel. We went to go try and get answers from Zuno and got jumped in line because uh, I tried to be a tough guy. Um, we got to meet Dr. Slump and use the reality machine. We got sent to an alternate universe where everybody's gender swapped. And I got a bracelet that I guess gave me Ultra Instinct. Kind of. Uh, so yeah, thank you all for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button, favorite, comment, subscribe, and ding, 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 ring the notification bell to be notified whenever we do these videos. If you're a fan of AI Dungeon 2 content, then I highly recommend that you check out my series, Jet Starlight and Xena, Fairy Monster Hunters. It is my daily AI Dungeon 2 series, and we are currently 35 episodes in. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to upload episode 35 today, so that's going to be pretty cool. Anyways, thank you all once again for tuning in. This is your friend, your boy, Chip Life One. Logging out. Peace. Check it out. Wow.